themselves with Jerusalem, God says they shall be cut in pieces. Now, I'm going to tell you the meaning behind that. Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Yes, right. So America has burdened themselves with having keeping us hostage here. But that's what we are. They're going to be cut in pieces. They took our land, the, our land of Jerusalem. The Bible said, you burden yourself with that, and you shall be cut in pieces. Think all the times when it cost you for the job. Think of all the times when you was done dirty by an enemy, man. That's the angle you ought to chance. But think of your fathers if you never been to. All right? Think when it was whipping our fathers, man. Cutting our women's stomach open. Big white men beating little black women upside their head. Think of that. Some brothers' kids have died. Wife has left them. Uh, many things have happened to us, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, all that stuff is going to go away. We got to keep our mind on it. Keep the soldiers in mind that the mission. The mission is getting the kingdom of heaven. Ruling over these devils that are present. That's the mission. That's the goal. This is the plan of action. If we know everybody that don't do this is going to die. When Christ comes back. Watch this. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repeat, be therefore. And be converted. How do you change your ways? How do you change your ways? How was the sin? What's the sin? Lying, stealing, murder. What is sin? Those are examples of sin. But what is sin? What is it? What? I mean, that's all general. But what is sin specifically? You gonna change the mood? I do. You gonna change? Sin is the mood. Well, things like this. Oh man, how are you gonna change? Sin is the mood. 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 Sin is the m
Why would he make seventy ten more? You know how long? He's ridiculous. Well, the Titans teach the guy like everything. Why did he make? Everybody can repent. Why did he say he didn't make? How can anybody do that? Look at from what? Can everybody sing it? That was free will. Everybody don't know what they said. They're going to sing it. See, that's missing. Again, them churches leave you wrong. It's better than the Bible. Go to, you know what I want. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Everybody can sing it, right? Let's sing it along. 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 He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob represents what? Jacob. Jacob represents what? My son. We, we got to ask him. Tell your church, we don't come to teach. <laughs> go ahead. Just, just, go, just read on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Jacob yeah. represents what? Read on. He, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's what Jacob represents. Israel. The nation of Israel. Jacob had his name changed to Israel. We are the children of Israel. So when it says Jacob, the children of Israel. Right. We know. He have not done so, but he said he what? He have not done so with any nation. What did I say? You heard that? Uh-huh. Read it again. He have not done so with any nation. God said he has not dealt with any nation. Outside of Jacob. He said he dealt with Jacob, but he hasn't dealt with any nation. He don't deal with nobody else. So, sin is the breaking of God's law, right? If God didn't give you his laws, how can you break them? Because they don't pertain to you. Other nations are not under sin. Oh, yeah, you can have a court battle. It's not sin. Because the law they're applying us, just like we in America, China's law is applying to you. Arabic law is applying to you right now. Arabian law, they might have a law that says you can't have praise if you're supposed to be. Oh, that's what you just said. They don't apply. Oh, they don't. I like it. Come on, bro. No, no, no. Don't you say it, bro. No, but you just said, my brother, mm-hmm. it's heavy, it's deep, because nobody ever put words like that in order to what you just did to say they're not under sin. That is not directed to them. That's for us. It's only for us. And so why do you have these evangelical things on TV or these pastors? With these big super churches, guys, bigger for airplanes, and stuff like that. Right? You know, why is that? Let's ask you that. Let me give Michael 3 and 11. Michael 3 and 11. Watch this. Michael, chapter 3, verse 11. Michael 3 and 11. Michael, chapter 3, verse 11. Uh-huh. The heads thereof judge, for we want. The leaders of their church, they teach for money. But he, yeah. And the priests thereof teach for hire. For hire. Just like if you want a TV church to come teach at your church, you yeah. give them 100000 They don't even walk in the door. And then he want $2,000 per handshake. What's the reason? And they don't the money. Oh, chapter 3, verse 11. You know? And the priests thereof teach for hire. Uh-huh. And the prophets thereof be for money. For money. That's what they do. They go in there, they set these buildings up to make you take your money. Not to teach you nothing. I shouldn't be able to stand here and you've been in church for a second. You've been in church for a year and I shouldn't be able to teach you what sin is. You should know that already. I know it's there. The problem is, is that the problem is they're not teaching. You learned you. Oh, okay, let's, let's, you. But let's say, let's say you did. But you didn't, but they didn't teach you not to sin because you're still in sin right now. Oh, baby. Good show. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to go. Hold on. Let me finish him up. Okay. So now, give me Isaiah 2 something. Go to Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. Watch this. This is the more about your church. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. Which say to the seers, that's what the people do. They say to the seers or the prophets, see not, don't see the what's right, read. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right then. Don't tell us what's right. Speak unto us smooth then. Tell us lies. Tell us what we want to hear. And that's the church system. The people only want to hear lies and smooth things, and the pastor just want to get money. So that works. That's why people get what they want. 
The people don't want to actually repent, so they say, you know what, God, thank you for this. They want God to stay me. And if that's what I'm going to tell you to get right, I'm going to just tell you what you need to hear, and you're going to give me money. That's church. That's it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to tell you what you specifically are saying. You. Oh, boy. Read it. I ain't here. You notice I ain't even tell him what to go to. Yeah. He looked at you and saw the scene you was in, and he went straight to the bank. Oh, That's because he know. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel, which is y'all, uh-huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Yeah, he's a- to be on your phone. He said, Love their generations to lead on? Love their generations. Love their generations means what? Love their kids and their kids. Love their And that they put upon the bridge of the borders a ribbon of blue. You know? And it shall be unto you for a brick uh-huh. that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. The commandments of the church that you will do. And do them. And do them. So this is forever. You swear, man, this ain't no problem. Oh, well, you got it wrong. You got it wrong. Can I get yeah. my statement? I said that you wasn't supposed to uh-huh. wear of silver and gold, and then it's a big thing to have to worry about what you do your No, no, you, because if you don't, they don't, God, not, Jesus is not coming back to destroy churches. He's going to destroy the people. He's coming to kill. They told you he couldn't fight the people and the people were the church. He's destroying the people. Right. And anybody who left them, watch this real quick. You're talking about building? Right. Hold on, watch this. I'm going to show you the church. Go to a church and then, then be in that church. Just like you can go to a motorcycle club and party, but not be in that motorcycle club. That's all right. So if the police come to raid it, you might not be a member, but they're going to lock you up too. Right. 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 So what do you want? But you're not doing that. You're preaching out the same Bible. But they're preaching out of that. So they're going to offer the question of my God if you have no teaching. Exactly. I'm going to go to the You said that's excellent. That's excellent. All of that. So you have to go somewhere to buy some type of script. I'm going to get that in there. God, who is it? God, who is it? Watch it. That's that God spoke to me. 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 That's that Cheese? Yeah. All right, hold on. That's the cheese. Because I said, I said that you got to have it on your clothes, right? Let's get the judgment for it. Because if, it, if it's no law, if it's something we can put up time, then it shouldn't be a judgment in the Bible. But it is a judgment. We see the judgment. Yeah. Zephaniah, every law got a judgment. We see the judgment for this one. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. What does that mean? It shall come to pass in the day of the happening. So that means it's what? What happening? Future prophecy is going to happen at some point. In the day of Lord Sacrifice, that's when Christ comes back. He said, when Christ comes back, what's going to happen? That I will punish the princes. He's going to reward that I will punish the princes and the king's children, which is y'all. And all such as are caused with strange affairs. Listen, if you're not there in the right thing, he's going to punish you. Oh, wait a minute. That's different than what we were just saying, right? That would be a judgment until a lot of days. So but that's where people go up to be a judgment until a lot of days. Okay, but that's not the only interpretation. You know, that's not the point. But that book was written six years ago. You don't know what happens to us. You don't know what happens to us. That's because the people here in the law, when people here in the law, they try to find a way out of the law. That's right. Oh, hey, Luke, we smell out our shirt. That's it. No, I don't know. That's it. 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 That's for the Muslims, for the so many different religions that use that same book, it can be interpreted in so many different ways. So, as the people, we should be more specific on the safety of the Greek and Jungle. So, what? That's what? That's the same thing. That's the same thing. So, what? Chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. A sinful man won't take correction, but find up an excuse. He does what? 
and it's all oh, man, but well, that's a different interpretation. See, and no, you can interpret that any kind of way. But also, they gave you the whole view of the Bible says, but how do it? Read it again. But how do you do it? It's simple, man. And I will not be reproved. But this Bible and the religion of the Holy Spirit is with you. He does an exclusive form of his will. Well, I don't know. How do you find saying a man, you got to be on that? Say that again? How do you find saying a man? You know what I'm saying? Hold on now. Give me a second. 2919. Wait. Hold on now. You just said I'm going to have a session walk. You feel better than my ass. Well, I'm saying you. You feel better than my ass. I'm saying you. 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 So I was remember I said that he, I didn't even, I just said it was a sin. He had the first grade. And then I'm like, let me know. He saw something. And I'm like, let me know. What's this? So what? Chapter 19, verse 29. And men may be known by his look. By what? By his look. So that means I can look at you and I can see if you were sin. Certain sins. I can't tell if you were an adulterer without looking at you. I can't tell if you're a homosexual I'm looking at Sometimes. And then no. Oh, really? I'm going to make you feel the same way. Yeah. 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 the same way. You're not God, and I'm not God. Show me my own. I'm not God. 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 So what you're saying is this. First read Matthew 7 and 1. This is what you're saying. You're saying this. This ain't giving us no speech. Thank you. Well, see, this is what you say. Psalm 32, 6. Not you. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Chapter 7, verse 1. Because you are God. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Okay. Judge not that ye be not judged. That's what you're thinking right. in your head. That's what you're thinking. But watch this. That is what you're thinking. You yes. You don't really know what I'm thinking about. That's why when we read the script, you say, that's why the smile came forth. You are not an average nigga that you would think on the street. It's, it's not anything in the Bible. So, so it's about our people. I'm sorry. 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 Of, of, of do you need 10 minute conversation? Check it out, Check it out. Check it out. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? The saints are going to judge the world. Who are the saints? She might know you as you know. She might know the message. You think you should be going to analyze them. Don't mean that we are all Don't get emotional. I'm not I'm saying, but I'm just saying, if I show you something that you're doing wrong, am I condemning you? If I see you about to step in the street, let me get an example. Let me get an example. Let me get an example. If I see you about to step in the street and I pull you back and stop you from getting hit by a car, are you, did I just help you or did I hurt you? That's, is that, I'm asking a plain question. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not telling you what's going to happen. I'm not telling you, I'm not condemning you. I'm just showing you, look, hey, fix this, but that's all I'm doing. I was saying, I didn't even know a 10 minute conversation. But we read it. I didn't even know a 30 minute conversation. Read it again. I'll tell you again. Read it again. I'm showing you what the scriptures say that you're doing now. I didn't tell you nothing. But that's right. But you haven't made a plan. I saw you. Let's make a plan. And that's why I'm looking at it. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. This is a law. It's a law of God. Everybody don't keep this law. Speak unto the children of Israel, which is you, and give them that they make them bridges in the borders of their families throughout their generations. Everybody that's of the children of Israel that does not have fringes and a ribbon of oil on their garments are in sin. Well, that just means that, brother, as long as you're alive, you got a chance to fix it. That's it. That's all, all I'm telling you. Know, you said that we are wearing, we are wearing, we are wearing. If you're not wearing fringes on the, in the ribbon of blue, 
on your gun, on your garments, you are breaking number 1538. Yes, I'm that So, I'm not saying nothing. I'm telling you know what to read. But you interpret it. I didn't 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 and then the Jewish church is going to do the same thing. So, why, so why, is that? why would they do that? Why would he do that? <laughs> why would he do that? Know who we are? But that's the point. That's the point. Well, you know, know, I, didn't I didn't interpret it. I just told him to read it. Right. I didn't interpret it. Read. 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 Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. I'm not going to interpret this. Speak unto the children of Israel and beat them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. And then they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You ain't even breaking that law, you know. I don't know. That's something you decide whether you're breaking that law. Right. I'm not going to tell you something. Right. I didn't do nothing. I just had to right. read it. But while you read, read the punishment for this law. And let's see if I'm going to punish it. I don't know. I'm not going to punish me. Because like you said, when you break the law, punishment should come. Now let's see if that punishment comes. How do you think it's going to come? It just doesn't mean that we can't break the law, but the law breaks up. The law is where the law is. When you want to die, you should have to follow the law. Never know you. That's what God does. And this shall come to pass. And it's going to happen. And the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Christ comes back. And the day of the Lord's sacrifice. And the day of the Lord's sacrifice. And the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That I will punish the princes. No, he is going to reward. I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are caused with strange apparel. That can be interpreted. Interpreted how you think. But even in the midst of us being diapers, sinners, prostitutes, pimps, drugs, gang members, whatever, we still hear the word repent. But you know what you did mean? You did mean to turn around, to be transformed, that you can come back into me. To the world of works. Our way of seeing it. I'm what is it? Come on, oh, we know what sin is. Come on, I know what you're around. You know what sin is. Come on, I don't know. We know what sin is. Come on, I don't want you to rob it. You can't say 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 but whatsoever is more than these coming of evil. It comes of what? Coming of evil. You don't just say the answer. And you go talking all around the corner. That is what? Coming of evil. Oh, oh that's what we see. That's, that's what we see. Hold on. You said we can't tell the guy. Oh, that's what we're going to see. But we just saw it. It's not the guy. Go ask your guess. Let's see. Just say I don't know, bro. I can't get you guys to bro. All right. But if you tell me, what is sin? That ain't right. What is sin? What is sin? You can all come to God. What is sin? If we do not repent, you can't come to God. He's talking about Israelites. He's talking about the Pharisees, the scribes. You can't repent if you don't know what sin is. That's what he is. He's going to listen. Sin is anything against the will of God. Yeah. Open your mouth. Who do we read? Who is there anything against the will of God? You don't take sin, man. Now, who let you die against the word of God? If you do not go out in the righteous ways of God, what you earn in the things of God, you are his name. 1 Peter 4 and 11, Romans 6 and 3. For we are all sinners. We have all committed sins. 1 Peter 4 and 3, I mean 4 and 11. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Read all of them that written in the Bible. Tell me what the Bible says sin is. Bring it on. Wait. 
Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.